to my channel. Um, this is my Dooney and Burke, Disney Dooney and Burke haul for my Disney World vacation that we just took in December. Um, I did show sneak peeks of it um, in my original haul, but I wouldn't unbox it because I feel like it needs a video all by itself. Um, I love Dooney and Burke, but I especially love Disney Dooney and Burke. And so it's kind of become a trick. A tradition that every time we go to Disney I get to pick out something for my husband um, which is usually part of my Christmas so I uh, wish it was this year as well and um, so yeah let's just jump right in I want to show you um, all of my goodies so I can start using them um, this is if this is the bag that I chose this year let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging it is the food and wine festival bag is from the food and wine festival and um i'm trying to cut this plastic off without going anywhere near my bag um but i had no aspirations whatsoever to get a food and wine festival bag when i went to disney world um i did see the mouse divas bag that she got she got the pet holders which was um, kind of like a white background with the uh, food and wine vegetable stuff on it. And it was beautiful. And I have been wanting a navy bag. And especially Disney, Dooney and Burke, you don't see a lot of navy. And so when I saw this hanging, um, I just fell in love with it. I thought it was gorgeous. And um, I initially wanted... Um, when I went to Disney World, I was wanting the Pirates of the Caribbean um, bag that was out. And I think it sold out quite quickly. Um, it was the white background with the black trim with the tassels and the buckles and everything. And it had the Pirates of the Caribbean sketch all over it. That's the one I really wanted, but it was nowhere to be found. And so um, then I had, I had seen the puppy dog one that was going around. I was like, oh wow, that is so cute because it had like the Beauty and the Beast uh, little the little footstool, you know, on it. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. So I couldn't find that either. So I was at Mouse Gears. I walked in. I saw this um, sitting there with all the other Dooney's and Burke, Dooney and Burke. And I'm going to do a video just on the Dooney and Burke's that I saw at Disney. And um, But anyway, I saw this and I thought, she is gorgeous. And so I wanted to do the strap test. I have a strap test for myself, uh, especially with Dooney and Burke. Because sometimes their straps can be a little bit short for me because I'm more plus size. So I need a good clearance on my shoulder um, and the strap it passed the strap test. So I was so excited and um, You can see it has this gorgeous navy blue background. It has the figment um, in various places all around Which is just a minor touch of purple which I'm fine with but then it has the cream and um the cream against the navy which i think is so beautiful um and then it has the beautiful dooney and burke um uh logo and the brass right here just so beautiful the gold, gold tone coloring um and i'll go ahead and tell the story again i did mention it in my original haul but this bag is originally 308 dollars and we purchased it from mouse gears and um we took it back to the room and i don't know we were just uh relaxing for the afternoon before we went back for the evening at the park and i was just going through the parks app just looking at things and i saw that this bag was on sale for 231 dollars well it just kept eating away with me like crazy i was like i can't even believe we just paid 308 and then with tax and everything, oh, it was just crazy. It was like $340, $340 something dollars, I think it was. So um, I talked to my husband about it and we made the decision to take it back to Mouse Gears and get a refund. And then we ordered it from the Parks app and they shipped it to us. And it was actually here when we got home. So um, we actually saved considerable amount of money. And that's what I was explaining in one of my haul videos. Sometimes you just have to um, 
you know, I know we get caught up in the moment wanting to buy things right then, but you know, for us, we just decided not to bring the bag home just to buy it through that parks app and save the money. It's the exact same bag. Actually, it's packaged, look at that, so beautifully. And um, and it wasn't packaged like this at Mouse Gears. So I actually felt like I got even a better end of the stick. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. And that's why I wanted to do this video separate um, because I didn't want to include it in my uh, haul, part two haul, because it was just so involved and I didn't want to rush through it. And I wanted to really take my time and show you the bag. and. You know, it's got the little Denny and Burke tissue. And I just wanted to unbox it and give it its credit, you know. And let me go ahead and get all this stuff out. Um, just a lot of tissue. Let me get it out and then I'll show you the whole bag. Okay, I have all the tissue out. I have all the plastic off. And this is it, just the bag. And isn't it beautiful? This was tucked inside. It says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2017. So it's this big leather uh, bag charm that hangs down um, there, which I love. It was an attract. I love leather against all this. I love this leather. Um, I love how all of the leather, and I still have some plastic in places. Um, I love, I know you can't see it um, from a distance, but I love how all of the trim is a lavender color. So that is so pretty. And I just love it. I've been wanting another bag. I carry a Dooney and Burke tote to work, and um, it's big enough to hold all my stuff. And I wanted another bag that was kind of spacious. Um, and but I want it to be Disney so I love this and I think with the coloring it won't show up as much dirt because the bag I'm carrying to work now is black and um, I think it'll really hold up um, to going back and forth to work every day so it's got these beautiful straps <coughs> excuse me that just fit real good on my shoulder and then um, it has a one, two, three snap closures. And I'll try to show it to you up close. Um, but you can see it has a center section and then it has two side sections that snap. And the first one um, closest to you, um, it unsnaps and it's more of a shallow pocket. And it also has another small little zipper um, not zipper, but slip pocket inside of there. So it, this would be a great place for my phone, um, for things, my maybe my keys, whichever one I decide to put. But that was a great smaller pocket. It comes about right there. You open up the middle snap, and you have this huge inside. And you have a slip pocket back here. That's really for your cell phone um, right there. And then you have the zipper back here that has your registration card in it. And then you have the uh, the numbers on here. You have this pretty leather Denny and Burt logo tag. And so then you have also your key keeper. And then you have the uh, Denny and Burt tag. And then you also have a Disney tag that's inside as well. And I know you can't see all of this. On the other side, you have two slip pockets here, which I use one usually for my sunglasses, one for my name tag for work and keys. Um, so a lot of Dooney and Burks have the same kind of setup on the inside. And then on the back side, here's the back side, there's another um, snap, and it's just another shallow pocket, um, but there's no slip pocket inside of it and it just snaps back also. And the brass or golden tone hardware has Dooney and Burke on it. So yeah, it is so pretty, I love it. Um, and it just, on the outside, and I love how it has this um, pleated look. I love that, I think that's real pretty. And I, I'm so sorry, I cannot remember, but there is a name for this style bag from Dooney and Burke, and it just escapes me right now. But um, I'll try to put that in the info below so you'll have that info. Because Dooney and Burke does this bag in their regular line, not just Disney. But um, yeah, but I do love the color and I love um, the different countries that are on here. And I love the figment part. 
I love how it just um, ties in the trim um, on all of the leather. It's just so pretty. But yeah, um, I, that's the one I went with. It was really not, um, you know, really I had no idea I was going to purchase this bag. But, you know, you just walk into a place, you see something, it speaks to you, and you just get it. You know, that's kind of how it was. So, yeah. So this is my new Dooney and Burke that I bought. Um, well, my husband bought for me for Christmas. And then, um, you probably remember from my other haul where I showed you this as well. Um, <clears throat> here's the matching wallet. And again, they were sold out at the Disney parks. Couldn't find it anywhere. Um, I even went to Disney Springs. Think I can find it. We couldn't find it there. And it's the same print as on the bag. And it just has the navy background with the cream and the figment. And I love that figment's on the front here. And um, it comes with a wristlet strap, leather strap, trimmed in lavender as well. And it also has a braided um, zipper pull. And this has the hardware, the gold tone, gold tone hardware that you can actually detach that, which I will do, because usually I don't use it for a wristlet, I just use it for a wallet. And, um, and then you can just stick it in your purse. And it has the same gold tone um, logo on the front, just like the front of the handbag does. And, um, and then it's a zipper closure. And when you open it up, it has, um, I think it's a, yeah, it's a 12 card, um, slot. There's six on this side, six on this side. It has the pretty lavender. It has the pretty lavender interior, cotton interior. You can see that. And uh, then it has another slip. Of course, you have your registration card. And um, I don't know if I just said this. This was sold out on the par at the parks everywhere. My husband found it online, and it was brand new. Still has the tags attached. Still has all of the goodies on the inside. And this is regularly $158. And I think he got it, oh my gosh, like $120, $130, somewhere in that range maybe. Um, it was a di I think it was a discounted price um, from if you would walk in the store at the parks and buy it. And then it does have a zipper closure for your coins. So you can see it has a cotton lining in there as well. So just very, very typical of a Disney Dooney and Burke or just a Dooney and Burke zip around wallet. Um, and I love it. I think it's so pretty. And it's large enough that um, you can put the strap on it and carry it as a wristlet. So if you're going out to dinner, you don't want to lug a huge pocketbook. Um, if you're at the parks, you're just going for a quick dinner. And um, yeah, you could do that, put that on your wrist. But yeah, I love it. So this is my new bag and my wallet from our Disney vacation trip. And so when we got back home, um, I, I noticed that the Disney, Dooney, and Burt stuff was still on sale. Not only that, I would be getting free shipping. And so, I took it, you know, I said, you know what, I'm going to take my bonus from work this year, and I'm going to buy myself something. Um, my husband was so good to me to get me my handbag when we were on vacation. So, I, and just like you saw in part two, I gave you a little peek of it, I decided to buy me the Weekender from Dooney and Burke as well. I actually was trying to decide between this bag and the bag that I purchased or that my husband purchased for me and I could not make my mind up. I just stood there at Mouse Gears and I had both bags out and I was just trying to decide and going back and forth, back and forth and my husband was like, it's your decision. So. I said, well, I'll just wait on the weekender for another time. I've got till our next trip, because I really want it to carry, you know, and not just to carry to Disney, but to carry if we go off for the weekend or go somewhere overnight, whatever. And it's a perfect size for that. And um, so, yeah, I decided to go ahead and do it. And so, I'm so glad I did. It's one of those things you just kind of procrastinate about, but you want so badly. And I was able to get it 20% off, plus free shipping, and um, yeah, I think it was a great decision. I saved, if you count what I would have paid for shipping and 
the full price of the bag, I saved uh, over a hundred dollars, and I was so happy that I went ahead and decided to do it. Um, they sent me a beautiful print too. It's got everything on it. We've got Mickey Mouse up here. We've got Minnie Mouse right here. And of course you've got all the, the castle um, and me in several places, Chippendale, um, you know, Tinkerbell, Cheshire Cat. I mean, they're, I mean, Dumbo. You, I mean, it has everything on the print. And then of course on the back, it's got the same thing. It just don't have the, the Dooney logo right there. But you've got Mickey Minnie. Oh my gosh, I wish that would have been on the front. Wouldn't that have been awesome if that had been on the front? But I do have Mickey and Minnie on the front. They're just over to the side a little bit. And then Mickey by himself. But this is um, the pretty, I forgot to take this off. This is the pretty logo tag from Dooney and Burke, um, which, oh, it's just stunning. I love that. It's got the heart that says Dooney and Burke on it. And um, yeah, and this bag is regularly $3.99, but I did get it 20% off and I can't remember for sure what that final price was. Um, it has this cotton strap that is adjustable. Um, of course it has the, um, and this is Vaquetta leather. It will patina over time and turn a honey color. Um, I do find that Dooney and Burke's patina uh, look and the Vaquetta leather doesn't get quite as honey looking as like Louis Vuitton. Um, I just, just from experience, um, I feel like it turns, but it don't turn as, as bad as like Louis, Louis Vuitton and all. But um, you open it up, it does have the pretty, and look at this beautiful blue trim on the braided zipper pull you open it up and it's huge on the inside i mean it's huge for a carry-all bag but you have um you have a zipper and a slip in the back and um on the front the front you have just two slip pockets on the front and it's just an open space and it has that beautiful red interior that duty and burke is so famous for but I love it. I love it so much. And, um, you know, it's just been a, Dooney, a Disney Dooney and Burke year for me. I mean, you know, my husband gave me the uh, uh, Navy one for uh, my Christmas gift. And then um, I decided to go ahead with my work bonus and purchase this one. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. And I'm going to leave these leather. I'm going to leave this plastic on the handles until... I actually use it, but um, <clears throat> I want to try to find a dust bag that's large enough to put this in. You can see on the sides it has the um, the fabric um, strap that runs down through these leather sides. It has your feet. It has six feet on the bottom, um, which are all um, with leather strapping. So I mean, this it's just as beautiful on the on the bottom as it is on the top. And then it has the same um, Vaquetta leather that goes around the edging of the bag as well. So yeah, this is my Dooney and Burke haul from our Disney World trip um, this year in December. And I am just tickle pink over my pieces. Um, you know, some are unexpected and then others are not. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing my Dooney and Burke unboxings. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.